Femi Falana, SAN reviews fate of pro wiki lawmakers as Sheikh Hussani Mendes amidst impeachment. Hello, viewers, and welcome to InfoGIS TV. Rivers Assembly crisis. Falana fought Amehule's sitting. The senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falana, has faulted the Monday sitting of Martin's Amehule led assembly. On Monday, the Martin Amehule led assembly held a sitting at the State Assembly official quarters along Gaba Road, Port Harcourt. The House leader, Major Jack, displayed copies of last week's appeal court judgment and that of Justice Omotosho, which ruled in their favor in January, recognizing Mr. Amehule as the Speaker of the House. They issued a seven day ultimatum to Governor Simila Ifubara to present the 2024 budget to them. Mr. Amehule read or a letter that they plan to send to the governor. In the letter dated 8th of July, they barred the government from spending from the state's consolidated revenue fund. They accused the governor of breaching some sections of 1999 constitution as amended and the River State Local Government Amended Law 2023, amongst others. They said the governor's dealings with and recognitions of the assembly made up of the said suspended lawmakers constituted gross misconduct and abuse of office. But Mr. Falana said Amehule and his colleagues they are no longer lawmakers in River State following their defection last year. The, law the lawyer said they can only return as lawmakers makers if re-elected 25 of them if they claim they are legislators and they pass any bill anybody can go to court and challenge it unless they want to have some political solutions and political solutions will mean that those who have left should go back to the electorate for renewal of the mandate once you decamp you automatically lose your seat you have to go and test your popularity before the electorate falana said are they saying they are still members of PDP or what? Mr. Falana also said the Court of Appeal only ruled on the jurisdiction of the State High Court and not on the status of Martins, Amehuli and others. He said the Appeal Court ruling does not mean they could now carry out their legislative duties as lawmakers. The Court of Appeal did not say they, that they remain lawmakers because they had left their seats. It's automatic, Mr. Falana asserted. The Court of Appeal simply said the State High Court had no jurisdiction in the matter and the case was struck out. The Court did not say you will hereby remain legislators in River State. No, the judgment did not say you are hereby restored. The Court of Appeal could not have done that because the matter of their membership of the House was not before the Court of Appeal. Unless they can get a judgment from the Federal High Court saying you remain legislators, they have gone. Monday sitting followed last Wednesday's ruling of the Court of Appeal, which dismissed the State High Court ruling that sacked them as members of the River State House of Assembly. We should recall that Mr. Amehuli and 25 others defected from the PDP to the APC on the 11th of December 2023, citing divisions in the PDP as a reason for their defection. But the PDP said there was no division. Three cases are in court seeking the court to interpret Section 109, Subsection G of the Nigerian Constitution, which states that lawmakers lose their seats when they defect. No court has ruled on their status so far. One of the cases is due to be heard on the 17th of July, 2024. Meanwhile, a former Kaduna Central Senator, Shehu Sani, has said only God can resolve the political feud between Governor Sim Fubara and his predecessor, Yison Wiki, in River State Crisis. Sani stated this in a post via his ex handle, formerly known as Twitter handle. He said that River State has been left in hands of God to solve the problem. Recall that River State has come under intense political crisis since Governor Fubara assumed office. Fubara and Wiki are fighting over political control in the state. The crisis has led to the emergence of two parallel speakers, Matt since Amehuli and Victor Okojumbo. President Bola Metinibu had earlier intervened, but the intervention did not yield the expected results as the political supporters of the two parties continued to emerge and engage in tantrums. On the other hand, the caretaker chairman of the Query Local Government Area in River State, Darlington Oji, said the Martins Amehuli led faction of the River State House of Assembly does not have the right to serve an impeachment notice to River State Governor Simila Ifubara, adding that they are not recognized as members of the State House of Assembly. Oji stated this in an interview with Arise Television. Recall that Martins Amehuli led House of Assembly leadership gave an ultimatum to Fubara to represent the 2024 appropriation bill before the House. He said the Martins led administration lacked the locals to serve impeachment notice on the governor as of today they are not members of the river state house of assembly by their own for me by the troubles they caused themselves so they cannot serve impeachment notice on the governor and the river state people are, are waiting that to happen and we are going to resist it for us what is important is that the governor is concentrating on building river state and bringing up dividends of democracy i have a right to go to court to say please the chief judge of river state do not recognize these people. As long as we are concerned, they are not known to law until their status is pronounced by the Supreme Court. Then we will know whether they are members of River State House of Assembly. What is happening there is that a group of people can come together and issue out any statement. They are not members and until their status is being cleared, the appeal court never said that 
They are members of the River State House of Assembly, the Apico said that the lower court that gave that order lacks the jurisdiction to do so. But remember, the constitution is very clear. Who has the mandatory power to declare their seats vacant? It was the Speaker. And at that time, the Speaker was right, Honorable Edison Enye, who declared their seats vacant and wrote to INEC, if not for politics that we are playing by now, we should be talking about by-elections in River State and not to be talking about whether they are members or not. They caused this by themselves. It is a political mistake. And of course, their leader has accepted that it is a political mistake. Why not? If they think they are popular, if they feel that River's people loves them, represent yourself to the people so that we will see and test that your, that your popularity. Speaking on the decision of the River State Court of Appeal to reverse Ame Hule and 24 others' expulsion from the River's House of Assembly, or they said, there are too many legs to the issue in River State. There are too many legs, so it depends on your understanding about it. The judgment that was given the other day or the order that was given by the State High Court was reaffirming their position earlier, who says that the Chief Judge of River State must not see these young men, this committee of friends, men that are parading themselves as members of River State House of Assembly until such matters are being determined. Now, in the issue of appeal court that says that the lower court has no jurisdiction to hear that matter. That is why I told you that there are several issues that are on board. They are, they are not the same matter. Now, what is happening in River State is that a group of young men that we campaigned for, like I told you, I was the pro PRO of PDP at, at that time during the campaign period of the election that brought in Martin Samihuli and I referred them as my friends. And they were elected under PDP. And of course, I know that your station carried it about their defections and all of that. And these are men that say they are honorable members, he stated. Meanwhile, FCT Minister Chief Yenso Miki from Ikwe ethnic nationality of the state have declared on alloyed support for River State Governor Simila Ifubara, speaking during a controversial talk and a courtesy call on the governor, the President General of Abako Ikwere Worldwide, Eze Barista God's Power, Enequa, said, as Ikwere people, they have had their turn governing the state and cannot sit by and watch an unknown person destroy the peace that the governor has ensured in the state. While commending the governor for the numerous development projects being executed across the various local government areas, including those of Ikwere, Eze, Onekwa, pledged the unalloyed support of the good people of Ikwere ethnic nationality to the administration. On his part, the chairman, River State Council of Traditional Rulers, Eze Chike Mwolungodu, said the stakeholders of Ikwere ethnic nationality visited to encourage Governor Fubara, who has shown sufficient capacity in governing the state seen and heard by everybody. Eze Mwodu urged Governor Fubara not to be distracted but remain focused, steer the affairs of the state fearlessly, and be sure of the Ikwere support. Also speaking, Senator John Azuta Mbata said the Ikwere people had governed the state for 16 years with support given to them by other ethnic groups in the spirit of inclusive politics, explaining that they cannot therefore refuse to support others to peacefully steer the affairs of River State. Azuta assured that all relevant leaders of Ikwere ethnic nationality were present to pledge their support to Governor Fubara against his detractors and to ensure that the administration succeeds. Responding, the River State Governor Sassimila Ifubara declared that he is not an ungrateful person because he acknowledges and appreciates those who are instrumental to good gestures that had come in his way. The Governor stated that it is due to such well-bred lifestyle and personality that he had never contemplated throwing cautions to the wind in handling the current political crisis that is bedeviling the state. Governor Fubara made the assertion when he hosted the stakeholders of Ikwere ethnic nationality, including the leadership of Abako Ikwere Cultural Organization Worldwide, the Supreme Council of Ikwere Traditional Rulers, Ikwere Women, Opinion and Youth Leaders at Government House in Portakot. The leadership structure of Ikwere stakeholders led other paramount rulers, political leaders, leaders of thought, women and youth, on the visit to recommit the people of the ethnic nationality to the success of the administration. Governor Fubara stated that if he were ungrateful, with bad character as canvas in some quarters, it would have been difficult to hide it for too long for everybody, from everybody. I want to also say this. Fubara is not an ungrateful person. If I were a bad person, you cannot hide character that is bad. More than one week, two weeks, one month, one year, two years, eight years, even more than eight years. For 16 years, if I was a bad person, everybody would have known. But even your own child that is in your house that you have given birth to, let us start with even the girl child. It gets to a stage your girl child will enter the bathroom and lock the door from behind. Even if they forcefully put a feeding bottle in my mouth, if I get filled up, won't I pull it out? So when people stand outside and say what they say, I want you to ask them to tell you in their own good conscience what is that bad thing, that wickedness, that ungratefulness, that's this man.
which is me, Fubara, has ever shown or done, but I leave that one to God who will judge everybody. Governor Fubara, however, said the visit was not a time to address those issues surrounding the political crisis, but a day to appreciate the delegation and the Almighty God for what he has been doing. <laughs>